the mud, so I'm pouring a spray through it. Fucked out the club, set up away from one of the bugs. I'm still feeling love in some areas I shouldn't Come be on, boys, come All on, right. boys, come on, boys, come on, boys, come on, boys. Come on, boys. I don't know where we are right now, but hey, man, if I'm at 800, then hey, congratulations. But if I'm not, bro, road to 800, boys. Hey, boys, it's that time, man. It's that time, bro. It's that time, boys. Hey, man. What up, YouTube? It's Aaron here, aka Hotshot Aaron. No freaking cap, man. And I'm back. Yes, sir, boys. Yes, sir. I'm back on your guys' screens with another video. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. Anyways, boys, how are y'all boys feeling? Bro? How are y'all boys feeling? Bro? I'm feeling good, gents. I'm feeling 110, bro. Today, I'm feeling 110. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. I might just, I might do a two in one today because I got a lot of energy, bro. I got a lot of energy and I got a lot of time, bro. So if you guys see me with the same fit in the next video, mind your own business, chief. Mind your own business. Anyways, boys, soon, soon the vlog is coming in, gents. End of the month, the vlog is coming, bro. JHB, I'm coming to JHB end of this month. So, y'all boys get ready, man. Y'all boys get ready for that vlog. Vlog coming up. Just grateful, bro. Road to 1K as usual, bro. I don't know if I'm at 800. I might be at 900. I might be at 1K. Let's get straight into today's topic, bro. Today, we're going to be reacting. Bro. Gonna be reacting to a video of a YouTuber, you guys. You guys might have seen it, bro. I haven't watched the video. So, they're like, I was like, hey, man, interesting video. Why not, bro? Just like that Zilla Weezy video, try not to laugh. I was like, why not, bro? So today we got we got a guy named Tumisho. Uh Nkwa Nkwana. Nkwana. Did I say right? Nkwana, Nkwana, Nkwana. Nkwana. And to me show Nkwana. Yeah, Nkwana. I dog. I, my, 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 I probably said it right. But yeah, dog. Um almost 50k subs. Um YouTuber essay, you know the vibes, bro. You know the casual shit. And yeah, man. Today he said he became a Koi son. The first people on earth. The first humans on earth. So you trying to say, listen, listen, listen. He's trying to say Adam and Eve. What Koi son? This can't, can't be mad. This can't, can't be. be. What blasphemy is that one now, boy? What blasphemy is that one, chief? You must change the title. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's head straight into today's videos, man. If your boys ain't subscribed to the channel, man, scroll down below, gents. Scroll down below. Hit that subscribe button down below, gents. Like the freaking video while you edit, my boy. And comment down below your favorite part during the video or after the video. Don't matter as long as you're coming, my guy. Anyways, boys, anyways. Let's head straight into today's video. So, today I'm going to be spending the entire day with Bushman. Um, <laughs> that, that took some time. Yeah. <laughs> now, there's no doubt that technology has turned human. <laughs> Yo, nah, this is skinny, bro. Yo, this is different level, dog. What the hell? Hey man, anything I say in this situation can come out as sus, so I'm not gonna say shit, bro. Now there's no doubt that technology has turned humans Most into stuff. a bag of chips. Literally everything we need from food, accommodation, transport is just blown in front of our face and just a click away. And now here's the thing, with all this technology, do the Khoisan people who are believed to be one of the oldest tribes on earth still have to live like they did a thousand years ago where they hunt, walk long distance? Chief, did y'all guys know that these niggas were still alive? I thought they were extinct, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought they were put in the pack long ago by the colonizers. I have to travel all the way from Houting, all the way to Northern Cape, and um, yeah, yeah. Hello, Ari. In Kenya. Wait, look at this. Switch. <laughs> Switch, oh my days, switch again. <laughs> you are recording me. <laughs> what can I say? So this is the Kamani Seno, the local Bushman administrator for us. Now this is Dirk, and he basically helped us make this entire thing possible. And he hooked us up with Open. And for the next 20... Who? Who is this nigga? Make this entire thing possible. And he hooked us up with Open. And... Ogpan. Ogpan. Hey, Ogpan needs a cut. My nigga. Please, bro. I know you're Khoisan, but like at least there's Khoisan holes, bro. What are they gonna say? And use your, your man made knife, dog, just to like, you know, get a little tape on you and or something like that, bro. And for the next 24 hours, I will be living just like him. I must wear like you today. Uh, 
Take guys a taper, yeah. Ish, 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 but uh, you need to go refade, bro. You need to retaper. And when we get there, the first thing Opman gives me is, you know, animal skin to wear so I can blend in with nature and be one with the soil. Now I'm wearing like you. Yeah, <laughs> and then we're gonna go out into the wild. Yeah, and then see everything. It's coke pun colored. This nigga sounds colored. So they gave us a young lift and uh, just dropped us in the middle of nowhere. And this is just Dirk warning me about the snakes and scorpions. We're uh, walking up. So they're usually in the holes, the uh, snakes and scorpions. The scorpions, scorpions like in this. South Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all those bottles you just saw around here is from your art fuck. It's a big hole. Yeah, and it's very dangerous for a vehicle mm. to kill you. Okay. Yeah, He's so proof. Like me, so. Yeah, yeah, like you, you see? Yeah, I get bit by a scorpion here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's only the beginning of this walk and it's already getting a bit awkward. So I just have to make some small talk. So this is like a four kilometer like walk. So with the boy and arrow, do you mm. hunt? Okay, sure. Well then, <laughs> yeah. Open does understand English, but the thing is, his main languages are Afrikaans and Nama. But besides all these barriers, I still want to win Nama. over his friendship, you know, by the end of this 24 hours. So I'm going to have to impress him. You see, one thing is if you look at your tracks, mm -hmm. you must look at the sun on that side, mm -hmm. and your tracks in the middle between you and the sun. Mm -hmm. There's a name, there's his feet. Okay. And there's another part of his feet. So he will tell you it's an old track from yesterday. Two days old, you must look like this. See here, you can see him coming that direction. Yeah, it's your ostrich. Wow, from all that you can. Wow. Now, this is tracking, and it's basically what the sand people do when it's time to track down an animal and hunt it. And where I literally or did you track just some holes, saw right? sand, <laughs> he saw food. <laughs> this one is. It, it's your orange bull. You go like a human being. Then you will leave his droppings. Yeah. You will leave his droppings. Okay. Yeah. Stand up and smell that catch man. Ah, Gog Pan. Come on, bro. It's giraffes. There's a lot of animals there. Why are you looking this unfair? Gog Pan. Come on, bro. Come on, G. Now, what is your quite like your hell quite sad name? Like, Gog not it. Oh, man. Okay, then give me a name. Kite. Kite. Kite means Oryx. Oryx. Yeah, Oryx. Kite, yeah. Okay. Um, what is Oryx? That's uh, an animal. It's a, it's it's a, a buff one. So the cow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Obviously, because, yeah. yeah. And now, as you can see, there's some level of trust being built here, you know. I mean, firstly, he thinks I'm buff, <laughs> which I kind of am, I won't lie. And he also gave me a nickname. So to build on this trust and make this friendship... My nigga, don't talk about being buff, bro. Don't talk about being buff, bro. Don't talk about being buff, chief. Don't talk about being buff. Don't talk about being buff, chief. Don't talk about being buff, boy. Add me to the equation if you talk about being buff. Add me to the equation. Put me in the conversation, boy. You're gonna try fly. Let me just step back a bit. <laughs> just a bit. No, it's a little tiny look, <laughs> Ooh, okay. Been yeah, I'm gonna use exactly your drone footage. <laughs> <laughs> and up and took over the drone and took the best drone shots I have ever seen in my life. It's the precision, the stability. It's like he's almost been doing this for a hundred years. Where's the uh, car now? You want me to guess that side? Am I right though that the car is there? I'm right. You see, I studied geology. Yeah, you see, yeah. Hey, chief, this is a light skin's nightmare, dog. This guy has balls. Like, he has the skin color to do this, dog. Me, I'm, I am can't do this, bro. If if I do this, dog, if I do this thing of walking four kilometers in this sun, hey, chief, you won't recognize me when I come back on camera. You real recognize me, I'll change color during the video. After a while, my weakness started to show. You know, I started hallucinating, seeing things, I couldn't walk anymore, and Open just went on without me. And I feel like he's sort of disappointed. <laughs> I'm not really, I'm not really impressing him. No, I'm, not, I'm not dying, don't worry about no, no, me. I'm really <laughs> Nah, I think I'm, I'm good. After a while, I just see Oppen literally coming back with a hit. Like, so much happens when I'm not there. But we have to finally leave the bush. But I have to ask a few questions before we leave. So how many friends Let's do you have? Go get here? some hit. This is the Omani San community and it's where Oppen lives. They actually also move with the times here. They have schools where kids attend, some tuck shops, a supply of water, and they don't have to hunt just to eat food. <laughs> they actually preserve their animals. So guys, uh, yeah, we're here with Oppen. Uh, we done, we were walking for like 4Ks in the, a bush, is it a bushville? 
Dune film. Dune film. Yeah, I know what that is. You can see that's my life where they make every day is drop making. Open basically makes a living from selling these souvenirs. While we were out in the bush, while I was fighting the sun, he was collecting some other stuff so he can make some other stuff so he can sell yeah. do you make a good living though is, is it hard it's hard for us to get because people did not stay every day when you make so you need more people come yeah. here it's like you said you need more people to come here. hey bro it's a listen choice yeah hear me out though <laughs> hear me out this is a tourist attraction it's a tourist attraction tourist attraction what does it bring rich people rich people rich people come with, with beautiful girlfriends beautiful girlfriends beautiful girlfriends equals slay queens slay queens instagram baddies Posting off here. Do you think this Gok one nigga has seen an IG baddie? Do you think this Gok one nigga has seen a Slay Queen? Nigga, I'm cooking. I'm cooking, bro. Gok one has seen a Slay Queen. He's seen something. I I, I promise you, he's seen something, bro. Come. You guys better come here, cause it, uh, Kok Pan. Yeah, Kok Pan. Yeah. <laughs> Kok Pan needs to eat. Yeah. I'm just gonna buy a bracelet, honestly. Now I may look like I'm supporting Kok Pan, but what he doesn't know is that I'm actually trying to buy his friendship. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. My lips are dry. My lips are dry because I'm in the color. Yeah, you in the color hard because yeah, we don't care hard. about lips. Nah, yeah, we, we don't. Care about <laughs> yeah. yeah, because you're under nature. We even share the, share the same hair yeah, because man, yeah. me and you are blood like it's that. Blood, it's one blood. So now he said he's going to teach me how to make these. The figure must restart his dress. Go pan. Restart, boy. Take notes from this nigga, bro. So I was actually supposed to go and fetch wood with them there, but they, they seem to be coming back without me, without, like, they went there without me, and now they are coming back. Wasn't I supposed to help? I wanted to help. So how long did this necklace take you? Three days. Three days, yo, three days just for me. Now what is this? Look, what is it? It's a knife. What it's made from? Bones. What kind of bone? Ostrich. Ah, ah, ah. I'm a disappointment. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot my own name. My own name? Oh. Oh my days, I forgot. I could have forgot my own name, really. Then I'm a big mistake for the world. Wish. Oh. So, what's my name? Uh, my name is Shorty. I know my name. <laughs> my Shorty name. is easier to remember. That's the thing. It's not the same day. You, you're on my side, yeah, right? Yeah, they... What is his name like Ox or some shit? Or oh, X? I don't know, bro. Mm. Yeah, not... Now, this is Timmy Oppen's friend. Yo, yo, what yo, you... yo. What are these names, bro? Timmy Oppen. Timmy. Come on, bro. Yo. All of them have dreads. What's up, bro? Hey, but let these niggas not get cleaned up because they will be, hey, boy, hey, light skin level 1000. You see, he already has the eyes, bro. Hey, chief, eyes, clean up his hair. The nigga's stealing your girl, bro. Give him a couple of, you know, give him like five meals a day type shit for the next month. He's gonna be fine. I'm telling you, boy. Go T2. Ah, my nigga. This nigga has gang potential, bro. Right now, he's like, uh, you know, bro, 50, 51 overall. He got rejected three times at the trials. Just give him some time. He's gonna, he's gonna appreciate. Okay, okay, now I have to wear that. Yeah. I'm a bushman now. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> and they made me put that stuff on. Uh, I won't even lie, but y'all ain't seeing any of this. Oh man, no. This is the most exciting thing I've ever done in my life. People from the world will see me. People from the world will see me, yeah. Uh, It'll be everywhere on the internet. Every single place. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't laugh. No, he's doing it. Is it Nick? Booty naked. I have to say it. <laughs> what we're doing basically now is we're just shooting the bow and arrow thing. I have to hit this target over here. As you can see it right there. And if I do it, I earn his respect. Load it up. Yo. <laughs> My bad. And as you guessed it, I just shot and missed and shot and missed and shot and missed. I think you might be here the whole day. <laughs> and then we moved closer to the target. Oh, we came closer. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, closer is perfect. But then I still shot and missed and shot and missed. <laughs> and Open was not impressed. I won't lie. Yeah. You may run away. How your wife will get food. <laughs> Yo. Not the Koisan telling me about bitches, bro. Hey, bro. Me out. Oh. You're lucky, chief. You're lucky this nigga doesn't press dudes, though. Like, me, I would have pressed him. See, nigga, you shouldn't talk about no girls, mama. You, you are forced to settle, bro. You are every day, mama. You are catching the mid-range shots, bro. Every day, bro. Every day, your wife is even a mid-range shot. I would have, yo. Bro, pardon. You're lucky, chief. You're lucky, chief. Lucky. Say, so how's your wife? Say, so how are you going to get bitches, mama? 
Dude, there's even this other thing, bro, in Congolese culture. I don't know, bro, if other Congolese people can say it, bro. Hey, chief, Congolese women don't like change, they don't eat. Eat their food. They don't finish their food. If you don't finish your food, it's gonna be unattractive. At least that's what I know, bro. The Congolese woman that's having around, bro. Because there was other guy at the family function who was chowing his food. And then after they was chowing, chowing, chowing. And then we finished our food. And then he was an older dude, bro. Beard, everything, bald head, all of that. And after that, the hun tells him, like, he says to him, Oh, why, why you eat so slow? Like, yo, yo, damn, bro. Grown ass nigga, bro. 30. All of that, bro. 30 years old, beard, bald head, dog. Shining bald head, everything, bro. They are telling you, yo, oh. yo, oh, chief. No, bro. Yeah, though, so don't don't eat slow around Congolese women, bro. So after literally an hour of doing this, he just gave up. <laughs> I don't blame him. But thing is, I will never give up on myself. Last, last. Issue. Oh! oh my days! I can't, I can't believe I did that. Like I'm literally. It just shows it that breaks my if you heart. put in the work, it's finally going to work. You can see it even went through. So when you get a breakthrough, it really does break through. Yeah, thank you. I have to act like I hid it from there. Oh my days! I came out victorious as I usually am. So because it's sunset now, they said we should come back and then we're going to do something for a sunset. I come back a different man. I'm not the same. We spent the day with them and now we're gonna see basically the nightlife, how they live, how everything is. So for the night, we will be sleeping by Coppen's place. And usually what the Bushmen do at night is that they start fires and dance around them. And Coppen wanted to do the same thing for us, but he just wanted to tell some some stories. If I go and look around for help, uh. look, the jack will come there. Go to jail there. You know, at this point, I just realized that I've just been letting up and down. One is a twizzy. What's up with the with the with the scarf on the head, Kokpan? There's even la twizzy croissants. It's crazy, bro. Just saying, there's this other story about Guababa. Guababa. For those of you who don't know, Guababa is a South African Oxford dictionary term used to describe the fear of approaching a potential mate. <laughs> and I have some really personal stories around it, I won't lie. So, I read into this book where it teaches you how to approach any mate, it teaches you to overcome Guababa. And I tried it on uh, a girl, and uh, the girl rejected me. Right? I'm sorry. Are you okay, dude? <laughs> I'll be strong. <laughs> nah. <laughs> But the thing is, at the end of the day, Guababa could have saved you. Guababa. It can be an enemy and like a helper at the same time. It's a blessing and a curse, actually, yeah. Do you guys have Guababa? Yo. Nah, Jeans. That is your motivation, dog. The son. Doesn't have guababa, bro. A koisan doesn't have guababa jeans. This nigga doesn't have a skincare routine. He doesn't have a place where he can buy the hardest fits. You have a skincare routine. You have a place where you can buy the hardest fits. This nigga has to settle for less for all of the mid-range shots, though. By default, you have all of the baddies in the world, but you have guababa. Think, 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 think. I'm cooking. It was better than. It was better than. Oh! Than, just uh, geez, this thing is selling. And that story was so sad. Better than just the Ricky's heartbreak. And that story was so sad that it even left my boy crying. So hopefully, Coppen thinks about it through the night. Okay, guys, so Coppen uh, just gave me bread that they cooked with the fire here. Because we wanted to sleep outside, but it's a bit too cold. Like, if you're logically thinking, we're not mm. gonna sleep outside. Yeah. Oh, finally, what a yeah, leap. Good. It was a beautiful, beautiful time with you guys. Enjoyed yeah, staying with you guys, yeah. sleeping with you guys. Yeah. Sleeping at your place. Yeah, like. you oh, this is a gift for me. Yeah, just a gift okay, for your father. All right, thank father. you so much. Man. Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. At the end of it all, Kopman finally gives me a gift. Clearly, that story time from yesterday worked, and gifting just shows that we're friends now, and I know he loves me under that 
hard skin and I love him too. <laughs> now I say my goodbyes and go back to the city. And if you guys want to visit the Omani San community, the details will be in the description. Hey man, WWVid though, WVid man, WV. Hey man, I'm not gonna lie, I can't live like that. I'm sorry chief, I'm sorry chief, I'm sorry chief, but the hoes are watching. The hoes are watching. <laughs> can't do that boy i'm sorry 100k people i i can't do that dog. underway i i can't go on my underway 100k people but hey man wv dog yeah man i don't want to i don't want to compare him to any nigga overseas because dog it's not nah, dog. i'm not gonna lie bro being a, a creator and out there they tell you uh you are the this that you are the for example ronaldo of south africa like no bro I just want to be myself. I just want to be Tabiso. I just want to be Sipo. I just want to be, you know, type shit. So, yeah, bro, he's the Tumisho Nkwana of South Africa. He's the Tumisho Nkwana of the world. I'm the hot shot nation of South Africa and the whole freaking world. Actually, the universe, chief. Anyways, boys, anyways. Hey, man, hopefully you guys liked the video, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys scroll down below. Subscribe to the channel, boys. So, road to 1K. If we haven't hit 1K, then hey, man, we're about to hit it. 1K, road to 1K. Like the freaking video while you're at it, my boy. And comment down below your favorite part. Because why not, bro? Comment down below also the things you want me to react to. Send it over to my IG. Whatever. Hey, man. I love you, Hot Shot Nation. W, Hot Shot Nation. W, Aaron. We almost there, bro. It's almost our time, boy. It's almost our time. Hey, man. I love y'all, boys. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Don't talk about being bad. Don't talk about being bad, chief.